Okay, this is Bisco Court. Come in, you're at the end of the cul-de-sac. Hey, come up to this front door. Come into here, get a powder room. Off to the left is living room, 11 Bisco Court. Nice, so you've got the entryway here. And then upstairs to the bedroom. Trying to figure out there's the hall light. Okay. Come down the hall. Imagine these are closets. This is a pantry and then a closet. Come into the kitchen. Granite countertops. Uh, it's electric stove. And goes over here to a drop down family room. Uh, washer and dryer on this level. That goes out to the garage. So you've got a table area here. Through the kitchen you've got the dining room. Back to the living room. Looking back to the front door where it came in. So at least you have, as opposed to the other house, this one you can actually walk through left to right. Um, ooh, an above ground pool out back off the deck. Awesome. Okay. So back through the kitchen. Got skylight in the family room here. Opens up to the back deck. Looks like there's a playground. I don't know if that's on your property or the next one. Pretty good sized deck. Back, the whole backyard is decked. Don't know why. Everything kind of slopes downhill. I'm going to assume that chicken wire fencing is, or that post fencing is the property line. Get this back deck. Goes over here down to another back deck with a hot tub. Walk around down here to the swimming pool. <laughs> Walk along with the back of the house. There's your uh, treatment stuff. A walkway along the back with lights coming down from the side of the house. We'll walk that last. Guy's boat over there is full of water. <laughs> so basically it's an entertainment area out back. Not so much for a yard. It looks pretty muddy, but I guess you could play down there. Okay, come back in. Put 
Okay. Go from here. Wander around my saw. We'll go downstairs first. Hello. Full bath at the bottom of the steps. And there is a, what could, could be used as a bedroom. It's not a legal bedroom, but it's a pretty large room. Come out of there, you go down the hall. And there is wow. Okay. There's a TV room. Down here, which could be also used as a bedroom. With door entry to the back deck. Clearly, you could use this as a guest room or bedroom for one of the kids. Come down the hall. I'm looking for lights to go down here. Let's see what we have. Okay, so there's this alcove here, which I think we saw in the picture. I have no idea what this room was. Still no idea, but it looks like maybe they were using it as an office. I don't know. Got a little bar down here with a fridge. Another little room as a... Looks like they were using it as a theater room because it's got um, speakers up in the ceiling. So probably some type of theater room. Surround sound system down here. Uh, and that's it down here so you've got this section all closed off with a lock on the door so I'm assuming this could have actually been a rental down here that's what it looks like where this may have been their bedroom locked living room kitchenette with a refrigerator I guarantee you that's what big water heater anyway that's downstairs We'll now go back upstairs. Stairs. You want to see that ugly guy? Full bath at the top of the steps. Nicely done. Granite. It's been retiled with a tub. Big shower head. Upstairs you've got room one. Room two. I'm assuming they share that bath. Room three. So that's three that share that one bath. Master bedroom. You can get a king size in here. Comes around, carpets purple. Comes around. Good size walk in closet. And bath. Light blue paint on the walls. Purple carpet. You probably want to change that. Crown molding. Crown molding in this room. This is probably the largest of the Master bedroom, then this one's the next biggest bedroom. 
These other two are much smaller. That's okay. Four bedrooms up, one bedroom down. Okay. This is probably the door. Plaza. Oh, no. A half bath on this level. Nicely done. That's your closet. And there's a door to the garage. Here. So, two car garage. We got a little workshop in the back. Extra fridge. Okay. And there you have it. Make sure the doors are locked. They are. This is not bad. This has potential. This is 11 Bisco Court. Don't know if there's gas available out here. We'll have to check on that. Um, okay, that is it. Front. Okay, so, nice little patio, nice and quiet back here. This does have some potential. Nice little porch swing, nice quiet neighborhood. No grass anywhere, it's a lot of mud. And it's a big, big lot, but just a lot of mud. Um, Go around the other side here, put the key back in the box. Definitely has potential. I like the neighborhood. Better than that one I looked at in Quantico. Walk around here again. You've got water that goes back here, but this would be your walk back to the... Uh, uh, this is really muddy on this side. It's that red clay mud, so I'm not quite sure why. I mean, it's drenched. Fire pit down there. There's straw, so I don't know why. I have, have to ask why that's so soaked. Interesting. Okay, 11. Bisco Court.